RCMP on the West Shore are going to have their hands full come Friday as more than 12,000 people make their way to the Rock the Shores concert. The lower fields of the Wantafuca Rec Center will play host to a stellar lineup of Canadian bands never seen before on Vancouver Island. But concert goers are urged to plan ahead and to arrive early to avoid what could be an extra congested Callwood crawl. CTV's Aaron Glazier has the story. It's been a long time since famed Canadian band The Tragically Hip have played an outdoor concert in Victoria. But as the old saying goes, if you build it, they will come. It's just something unique. There's never been a, I don't think there's ever been a outdoor show on Vancouver Island this size. A, a concert, a hard ticket concert. Today, organizers began transforming the lower fields of the Juan de Fuca Rec Centre, setting up tents and fencing in anticipation of an aptly named concert. It's exciting, you know. Um, it will be, I think it's well, well named Rock the Shores because the music will be on. More than 12,000 fans will also get to see local bands such as Jets Overhead and Current Swell. West Shore RCMP will be on crowd control, watching for those trying to sneak in or claim a spot on this large grassy hill to the west of the grounds, which will be closed off. We're going to be patrolling, uh, we're going to be walking, we're going to be on, uh, on bikes, we're going, to be, uh, we're going to be everywhere. Parking has also been a major concern with limited space at the rec centre, so take this advice. Arrive early, uh, carpool, and if you can, uh, take an alternative mode. The lacrosse box will be transformed into a secure bike lock and if you have to drive, VIP parking will be available at the casino and on Oceanside Road. But your best bet, park either at Western Speedway or the Luxton Rodeo Grounds and take a shuttle. It's going to be a lot more people coming to the community um, um, so delays are definitely expected. And just to be safe, BC Transit is adding extra buses along Route 50, which commutes to downtown. For three hours from 11 p.m. until 1 a.m., we're going to have three extra buses servicing that route, two of which will be double-deckers. And if this first Rock the Shores concert goes according to plan, it could become an annual event and a big-ticket item for the West Shore. It's just an opportunity to showcase the West Shore Parks and Rec. Um, it's a phenomenal location, and if we can pull that off on, on soccer fields, um, it certainly helps to offset costs to the taxpayers in the local area. A field of musical dreams that will be singing come Friday night. Aaron Glazier, CTV News, Colwood.